Hi, Danny. Hi, Joshua. Happy Sunday. As you know, Sunday is the Lord's Day. And so today we spend time reading the Bible, learning about God, and also praying. Today we will learn about the story of Zacchaeus. Can you guys say that with me? Zacchaeus starts with a Z. Zacchaeus. We will read about how Zacchaeus meets Jesus and he becomes a different person after meeting Jesus. So let's learn more about this story. One day, Jesus was preaching in the city of Jericho. Now, in the city of Jericho, there lived a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Tax collectors at that time were bad people. They tricked people into giving them money, and they became very rich by taking away other people's money. But Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was here, and he really wanted to see Jesus. So he went to where Jesus was preaching, but Zacchaeus was so short that he could not see Jesus. So what did Zacchaeus do? He climbed up a tree, of course, just so that he can see Jesus and listen to what Jesus was saying. As Jesus was preaching, he saw Zacchaeus on top of the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. Today, I will have a meal with you at your home. And of course, Zacchaeus was so happy that Jesus would come to his home and have lunch with him. But because Zacchaeus was a tax collector, many people did not like him. And they said, how can Jesus have lunch with such a bad man like that? Now, it's true that Zacchaeus was a bad man. He became rich by taking other people's money. But when he met Jesus, he became a changed man. And he said to Jesus, Jesus, I will give all of my money to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will make sure that I pay them back. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you have received salvation. I have come to find those who are lost and to bring them back to God. So in this story, we learn about Zacchaeus, who is a very short tax collector, who meets Jesus and becomes a changed man. He used to be a really bad man who took other people's money, but after meeting Jesus, he becomes a good man who follow God's commands. There are two very important lessons that we can learn from this story of Zacchaeus. The first lesson is that if we seek Jesus, he will invite us to be with him. We see that in the story where Zacchaeus really wants to see Jesus, so he climbs up a tree just so he can see him. And when he does that, Jesus invites him to have a meal together. Isn't that great? There were probably hundreds or maybe thousands of people there listening to Jesus preach. But Jesus saw Zacchaeus and chose him and wanted to have a meal with him. And so like Zacchaeus, Jesus chooses us, each one of us, to have a relationship with him and uh, to get to know him deeply. The second lesson that we learn is that 
when we meet Jesus, we, we become a different person. We become people who want to follow God. So if we see the story, we can see that Zacchaeus, in the end, he decides that he will give all of his money to the poor and help those who are needy and also to give back the money that he took away from people. Did someone force Zacchaeus to do that? No. Did Jesus force him to do that? No. God does not force us to become good people and to follow his commands. But if we believe in him and we have faith in God, then our hearts change and we want to follow Jesus and we want to follow God's commands. No one forces us, but because our hearts change, we want to be better people. Isn't that amazing? So Danny and Joshua, I hope you enjoyed today's Bible study lesson. Why don't we pray? Dear God, we thank you that you are a God who calls us and who meets us and who wants to have a personal relationship with us. Thank you, God, that you are always near, you are always close, and you are always calling our name. Help us to to seek you and to know you better so that we can share uh, a loving relationship with you. Thank you, God. And thank you, God, that uh, you change our hearts through the Holy Spirit, that we are not forced to follow your commands, but we want to because we love you. And thank you, God, for loving us so that we can love you back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Danny and Joshua, I miss you guys. I hope that you are uh, showing love and kindness to one another and also uh, listening to mommy and helping her. I really miss you guys. I'm praying for you and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.